Welcome to Pixedit Advanced User Tutorials. Visit Pixedit.com for more information about our suite of software. Do you experience problems with non-standard Twain driver or receive cryptic error messages? Is your Pixedit having a bad day? Have you written your own software for controlling Pixedit that fails to work as intended? Or perhaps you are just technically interested in what's going on inside Pixedit. Switch on the output window. Ordinary Pixedit users will most likely never open the output window since its main objective is to diagnose problems with scanner drivers, macros, and software that remotely controls Pixedit. Let's take a look at the output window by pressing F11 on the keyboard. In most cases, you will want the output window larger, like this. As you can see, initially the output window displays a lot of information. To see it all, you will need to scroll the content with the mouse wheel or the arrow keys. If Pixedit is under control by, for example, a document management system, you can in real time view all commands sent over to Pixedit. In addition, the output window also displays details and parameters when using Pixedit manually, during execution of macros, during scanning, and so forth. To adjust the level of detail you would like to display, right-click the output window and select Options. You can log all Pixedit activity to a file. This is especially useful when diagnosing a problem that happens seldom or when hunting activity causing Pixedit to crash. Notice logging to file severely affects Pixedit's execution speed, so make sure you switch off this option when you no longer need to log program activity to file. For ordinary diagnostic work when you don't expect Pixedit to crash, it is more efficient to read the log directly from the output window. An existing log can also be saved to file by right-clicking and choose Save Output. Let's show you a few hidden tricks. The most common reason for bad performance or even program crash is lack of memory, also called RAM. To test the amount of RAM available to Pixedit, keep the output window open and use Help About Pixedit. Pixedit will then, in steps, allocate an increasing amount of RAM until no memory can be allocated and then present the result in the output window. If you don't have any document open in Pixedit when performing this test, a value of more than a thousand megabytes should be sufficient for all types of normal production. If you are using Pixedit Pro in a high volume production environment, you may want to have up to 3000 megabytes available for maximum performance. Note that in order to achieve maximum performance in Pixedit Pro, you need to have a 64-bit operative system and at least 8 gigabytes of RAM installed in the computer. When using help about Pixedit while having the output window open, other tests relevant to the program performance are executed as well. For example, some types of antivirus software may affect scanning performance by unnecessarily analyzing either the image data coming in from the scanner or log files generated by the scanner driver. For this reason, Pixedit tests for presence of certain brands of antivirus software and reports possible problems in the output window. To close the output window, click the X in the upper right corner.